but I will tell you what the president has been guilty of. He has unfortunately been guilty of loving his child unconditionally, and that is the only evidence that they have brought forward. And honestly, I hope and pray that my parents love me half as much as he loves his child. Pocket from Texas. Now, this next one is really dramatic. I mean, when I say dramatization, you thought that was dramatic. And I, I hate to say because it's, it's a black female, you know, Jasmine Crockett. She's a representative out of Texas. I believe she's over the Dallas district, if I'm not mistaken. But you could tell just by the head roll and the neck movement, she really cussing somebody out. <laughs> like she tearing somebody a new butthole. And like, I don't understand why can't you get your point across without doing all this. And we've heard this saying before. She ends her statement saying Joe Biden is guilty of just loving his son, unconditional love of his son. I guess that's what women that's on the left says because Anna Navarro said the same thing. Joe Biden is only guilty of loving his son. The Hunter Biden story, the scandal, the this, the that, it's also the story of a father's love. And Joe Biden has never and will never give up on his son, son Hunter, and will never treat him lesser than. You love your son so much, you committed financial crimes. <laughs> High crimes and misdemeanors. So let's listen to Jasmine. Yes, thank you so much, Mr. Chair. Before I begin my questioning, I want to remind everyone that the information recorded in the FBI Form 1023 that my Republican colleagues keep citing is not evidence of anything. This form reflects years old, secondhand, unverified information from a Ukrainian oligarch as relayed to the FBI by a confidential human source. These unverified secondhand allegations have been repeatedly debunked and undermined, including by the confidential human source who relayed this information to the FBI, the tip recorded in the Form 1023 was thoroughly explored by the U.S. attorney handpicked by Donald Trump, which was attorney, attorney General William Barr, and the assessment was closed. Finally, Devin Archer, Hunter Biden's former business partner who worked with the Ukrainian oligarch in question, told this committee in a transcript transcribed interview in July that he had no knowledge of any such payments allegedly described in this form. Repeating the same lies will not somehow turn them into truths. Kind of like the election that Trump lost. Say it with me. He lost it. Repeating the same lie that he won wasn't going to turn the election around. The lost in this chamber keep pushing lies and lunacy on behalf of a multi-time loser. So if we're going to talk about China, let's go ahead and talk about China and let's talk about the dealings. And let me point out the fact that right now, each of you has admitted that none of you are fact witnesses. We walked in without facts. And unfortunately, because what we say isn't necessarily evidence, we have wasted the American people's time and we are going to walk out of this chamber and we still have no facts that are leading to anything. But let me give y'all a, a little bit of tea while we're here. So I have a document that I will ask for unanimous consent to enter into the record. It's a fact sheet on President Trump's shady business dealings with the Chinese government. This is what I'm talking about. We're talking about Donald Trump and Joe Biden's impeachment inquiry. What's the point? What's the point? If you're trying to say, hey, Joe Biden is not guilty. Okay, well, well, you're saying pull evidence that will free up Joe Biden, that he wasn't complacent and he wasn't coerced or he didn't have any influence on what Joe um, Hunter Biden was doing. But you keep on pulling up Donald Trump. Donald Trump is already being pro prosecuted. You guys put it in a chat. Am I reaching? I always say, am I reaching out for the stars? But Joe, Donald Trump has nothing to do. He's not in the office anymore. He has nothing to do with this. It's Joe Biden has everything to do with this. So if you want to prove to the American people, because we're watching, why do you keep on bringing up Donald Trump and it's not about him? You guys are already prosecuting him. That's what's so wild to me. What, did, what are you entering in? A record from who? This is from the Congressional Integrity. 
Congressional uh, Integrity Project, the Dark Money Pack? I, I object. I object to that, too. Of course y'all going to object, but we're going to talk about it. What? So, uh, it says, Trez Trump has extensive financial ties to the Chinese government. President Trump collected millions from Chinese government-owned entities while in office. I have the best tenants in the world, President Trump, was well aware of the multi-million dollar lease to Chinese interests. President Trump promised to donate foreign government, government profits while in office, but he donated less than a third of his proceeds from the Chinese government. President Trump maintained three foreign bank accounts while in office, including one in China. President Trump's business with China China raised legal and ethical concerns. President Trump, President Xi loves the people of China. He loves his country and he's doing a very good job. Let me tell you something. I don't want to talk about what y'all want to act like is some big mystery because we keep sitting here and Professor Gerhardt, just, just to be clear, as my colleagues have even tried to provide evidence, which they're not the ones to provide evidence, have you ever heard them say if since we've been sitting here for I don't know how long? Yes, I, I, um, I've been taking a tally. Oh, OK. Can um, you show us? Can you so tell us what the tally is? More than 35 times the Republican witnesses and Republican members of the committee have used the word if. Thank you so much um, for that, because honestly, if they would continue to say if or Hunter and we were playing a drinking game, I would be drunk by now because I promise you they have not talked about the subject of this, which would be the president. But let me tell you something that was so disturbing as I walked in. You're and this is what we're saying, like just like the other guy, Markowitz or whatever his name is. You're saying the subject of is the president. So why do you keep on talking about the former president? <laughs> Can anybody give me a lifeline? Give me a clue. Why do they keep on talking about the former president? If the subject is Joe Biden, I just don't understand that. To this chamber today, as I prepared, I said, what is the crime? Because when you're talking about impeachment, you're talking about high crimes or misdemeanors. And I, I can't seem to find the crime. And honestly, no one has testified of what crime they believe the president of the United States has committed. But when we start talking about things that look like evidence, they want to act like they blind. They don't know what this is. These are our national secrets. Looks like in the shitter to me. This looks like more evidence of our national secrets, say on a stage at Mar-a-Lago. When we're talking about somebody that's committed high crimes, it's at least indictments. Let's say 32 counts related to unauthorized retention of national security secrets, seven counts related to obstructing the investigation, three false statements, one count of conspiracy to defraud the United States, falsifying business records, conspiracy to defraud the United States, two counts related to efforts to obstruct. These are all accurate and true. Okay, you're talking about the charges that Donald Trump was indicted on. Okay, what does that have to do with Joe Biden? What does it have to do with him? Instead of she doing this, you know, this whole charade of, oh, look what I found. I have the evidence of Donald Trump. This this is the evidence of Donald Trump. We, we already know. He's been handled at these different courts in Florida and New York, Atlanta. Georgia. So we already know what's going on with that. We're talking about Joe Biden. And instead of her doing this whole charade, you have witnesses that you don't necessarily agree with. Why wouldn't you question them? Why wouldn't you have a line of questioning to poke holes in their story? What you And she's a lawyer. She, she is a lawyer. Why wouldn't you do that? I don't understand. Why wouldn't that other guy do that? I don't, I don't understand that. But instead, they having this whole charade about Donald Trump. Donald Trump is not in impeachment. It's Joe Biden. You're, you're allowing this man, Trump, to live rent-free in your head. It doesn't make any sense. Struck the vote certification proceedings, one count of conspiracy to violate civil rights, 23 counts related to forgery or false document statements, eight counts related to soliciting. And I could go on because he's got 91 counts pending right now. But I will tell you what the president has been guilty of. He has unfortunately been guilty of loving his child unconditionally. And that is the only evidence that they have brought forward. And honestly, I hope and pray that my parents love me half as much as he loves his child. Until they find some evidence, we need to get back to the people's work, which means keeping this government open so that people don't go hungry in the streets of the United States. And I will yield. If that wasn't the typical <laughs> black woman, 
the last 30 seconds is like, I hope my parents will love me just as much as he loves his child. Number one, Hunter Biden is 50 some years old. He's not a kid anymore. <laughs> um, this is a repeated statement. This is a repeated statement. And this probably statement, you'll probably start hearing that on the news now. She repeated, Aaron, I believe it was Anna Navarro. I'm going to find it for you. And then Spend it right now, but I will tell she repeated Anna Navarro statement and mark my word, you guys, it's September the 29th, 914 p.m. You'll hear this on CNN or MSNBC. You're, you'll hear, hear this statement again. The only thing Donald or Joe Biden is guilty of is loving his child. He's a grown man. He, he can, can we say Hunter Biden is a grown man? It's not wrong loving your, your kids, but they're acting like he's a baby. <laughs> they acting like this grown man is not a grown man. <laughs> like he's not, he's covering up conspiracy theories. You know how your kid, like, Say, for instance, you have a kid, maybe 18, 19 year old, and they did something totally wrong and you trying to cover it up so they won't get in trouble with the law. This is not that. This is a 40. Well, at the time he was like in the, his 40s, 40, 50 year old man using his dad for a political or a monetary gain. You have no businesses. Let me let me just show you what they presented. This was Donald By Byron's. Um, argument yesterday. They had an organization chart. Let's see if I can find it. This is this is what their organization chart looks like. Now, if you're wondering what an organization chart, this is what you would do if you have a business and you have several entities. Most most of the times, usually commercial businesses or commercial real estate businesses will have this type of organization chart. This is all discombobulated. I don't I don't know who created this. I mean, this is not even readable. Um, you can't actually read, but they got things crossing over. But these are all the shell companies. Now, Hunter Biden, you don't have one legitimate business, but you have 20 LLCs. You don't even have employees. Democrats are so focused on bringing Trump's crimes that he's been indicted for, and I put quote unquote crimes that he's been indicted for, to the forefront. This is this is what they want to spend their time, and the American people is watching. I don't understand why do people fall for this nonsense. Uh, Jasmine Crockett now. Most of the people that follow Simon Ataba, they're pretty conservative. Um, but you do have some black women. Ghetto at its best. Our country has fallen. This is a black woman, Tr Tracy Smith. Vince Langman said she hopes her fathers take showers with her daughters. <laughs> How disgusting. <laughs> we were so crazy. You know, the internet will internet you. <laughs> um, so, and they, they, they um, are calling her like a hero or she put down the law and she owned them. All kinds of crazy stuff. The typical response, everyone will say, oh, that's just a black woman. They think women, bl black women in particular, you're going to get that. You're, go you're going to get this reaction out of everyone. Because she, she's on the forefront. They, they're going to put her on the news. She was on CNN, MSNBC. You know, they were all reacting to this. You have Jasmine Crockett, or yeah, her last name is Crockett. She She's the hero of whatever, I guess, the Democratic Party now. You know, they, they, they're in love with her.